This short helps illustrate two things that can be done with After Effects. One, lightsabers. And two, titles crawling into infinity. We'll start with lightsabers first. Assuming you have your footage on the computer as an AVI file, open After Effects. You will notice a projects window and no timeline. Don't worry, unlike Premiere, the timeline will not appear yet. First, import the footage you want to add effects to. Right click in the projects window, select import, then file. Then click on the file of the footage, assuming you know where you saved it and what it is called. Once you have the footage imported, you'll see information about it displayed at the top of the project window. Note the time length of the footage. Now, with the length of the footage noted, we open up a composition. This is where we do all the effects adding. Right click the projects window like before, but this time select new composition. You'll be prompted for composition settings. Assuming the default is right, you just have to tell it how long the project should last. Type in the time of the footage you noted earlier and click OK. Now you'll see a timeline. It is empty. Just drag the file of your footage from the project window to the base of the timeline and your footage should appear in a window of composition. Now we can start doing things with it. In this case we'll be adding lightsabers to this sad footage of boring sticks. Both of you, when I do that, take two steps forward. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Good. Go. First thing first, only do one lightsaber at a time. Once you've done one, export the sequence as an AVI file, then import that footage and do the same for the second lightsaber. So, here we have the footage bereft of effects. Move the marker on the timeline to the point at which the lightsaber first ignites. The time controls allow you to move along the timeline frame at a time if required. Now select Effect, Render, then Lightning. You'll see a default electrical looking effect in the middle of the screen. This will be our lightsaber. It needs adjusting. Here is a good time to introduce zooming into the image. The percent at the bottom of composition helps you close in on the image and the hand symbol in the tools window lets you move the image. Now the other settings. We want a straight beam of light, not a jagged one like this. So make segments 3. It's the fewest allowed. Amplitude to 0 0.256 because that setting reduces the bends in the light effect. Branching and rebranching at 0. Width will depend on whether the shot is close up or long shot. So to begin with, base its width on what you think is right with the picture you have. All other settings at zero. One more thing, this guy wants his lightsaber to be green, done in the outside colour setting. There we have our first lightsaber effect. Now if you play the footage you'll notice it is just a blob over the screen. We need to animate it. Go back to where it starts and click the stopwatches for start point, end point, width and core width. Now go to the frame previous and make the lights effect disappear. This can be done by reducing both the widths to nothing. On the timeline you will notice this creates what are called key frames. 
Now we go to the frame after the lightsaber first appears and move it to where it should be for that frame. Next frame do the same and so on, I shan't bore you. get the gist. Same when we get to the sticks. Just overlap the sticks with the straight lightning effect, creating key points of movement for each frame. I think you get the gist. For added effect, when lightsabers are first ignited and when they clash, I added a lens flare because it looks nice. Dude. Again, keyframe its brightness and position as required.